Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. This is a short video on, why do we need to include 250 ohm resistor in the loop while using heart protocol. There are mainly two reasons to include 250 ohm resistor in the loop, while using heart protocol. Firstly, 250 ohm resistor serves as an aid to get the signal back for the heart communicator. As we know, DC power supply has low pass capacitor filter which suppress analog signals like ripples. So, if there is no resistance between the power supply and transmitter, analog signal coming from the heart devices will be filtered out. And we won't be able to connect heart device to transmitter in this case. So, adding a resistor just provides impedance between the transmitter and the filter circuit, which help heart communicator to communicate with transmitter. Secondly, 250 ohm resistor is used to convert 4 to 20 mA analog output signal of transmitter into 1 to 5 volt DC signal, which is required for DCS and PLC. Let me explain you this thing by taking Ohm's law examples. As you can see, this is the equation of Ohm's law. Let's assume that, transmitter's output is 4 mA, and we have 250 ohm resistor in the circuit. Now, put all these values into equation, and do the simple math calculation. You will get 1 volt DC as a result. Now, let's assume that, transmitter's output is 12 mA. And if we put all these values into equation, we will get 3 volt DC as a result. Let's take one more example. Let's assume that, transmitter's output is 20 mA. Now, put 20 mA and 250 ohm into equation, and do the simple math calculation. You will get 5 volt DC as a result. To conclude, if you put any value of analog signal into this equation, it converts into voltage signal, which is required for PLC or DCS. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this informative video. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you and for others, then please like and share this video with your friends.